Hello everyone, it's Mario Hernandez here with Media Current. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that may be difficult for some to understand, but I hope that I'm able to explain it in a way that makes sense and that you can uh, make use of this, and that is Drupal attributes. In addition to that, we are also going to be talking about title prefix and title suffix. These three things are things that you would normally see on Drupal Twig templates, right? You will see variables for Drupal attributes, you will see variables for title prefix and title suffix, and you may not know what they're for or how you can use them. And so uh, as far as attributes, they are an object that Drupal uses to pass HTML attributes to the markup. And they can be helpful, right? You may not necessarily have a need for them, but sometimes Drupal may. And so it's important that you keep them handy and you keep them available on your templates. And they are available um, on pretty much every Twig template. If you notice here, it says the attributes, title attributes, and content attributes are always available on all templates. So it's important that you don't remove them, uh, especially when you are working with custom Twig templates where uh, the first thing sometimes we wanna do is clean it up and get rid of everything so we can write our own markup. We wanna make sure that we don't get rid of those attributes uh, as well as title prefix and title suffix. So this page shows you all the things you can do with attributes. You can add classes, you can remove classes, you can add single classes, multiple classes, you can set attributes yourself, uh, you can uh, check whether an attribute has a specific class, for example, and if it does, you can do something, right? Like uh, add a new div or add an additional class, uh, all kinds of things. So uh, feel free to read this page uh, as you will be able to understand things a little bit better. But how does this work on a Drupal page? I have a page here with just a basic article, which is an image and some text, right? Nothing fancy. I'm going to inspect this page using my browser's code inspector. And here I have it. And one thing you will notice is that there are all these things here that Drupal adds. We have some style attributes, we have property, content attributes, data, uh, contextual tokens. Again, a lot of times you may not need to use those, right? But Drupal may. And, and so there's a schema, you know, type of data attributes, role attributes. So all of those are things that Drupal is adding to your markup. And so if you're just using default Drupal markup, uh, and Drupal templates, then you wouldn't have to worry about this. But let's say you are working in a system that where you're using components and the advantage of components is of course that you can write your own markup and then Drupal uses that to render the content, to render the data. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with components is that you wanna make sure that Drupal still has a way to add those attributes, right? And how do you do that in a component? Well, let's take a look first how a component typically use or how a component is typically created. The Twig template for this card is basically where we will write the markup or the HTML for the card, right? In this case, we have an article tag with the class of card. Then we have a wrapper for the image. We have a wrapper for the title and the body. And so here's the card in pattern map. We added just basic, you know, alignment styles, but it's basically an image, the title of the card and the text and the body of the card, right? which is what we see here. We have uh, an image, the title, and the body of the card. So the idea is to integrate this card with Drupal so that Drupal uses the HTML or markup that we wrote for this card and our design system, in this case, Pattern Lab. So I created a new Twig template for Drupal to use. And just, I'm keeping things very simple here. I'm using a node template, which we know that our article page is a node and I'm using the teaser view mode, right? Where we just get a listing of all of the content. And what I've done here is I remove all the content, all the markup from this template. And um, what I've done instead is I first set a variable for the title of the, of the article. Uh, and basically what I'm doing is I'm setting a variable that includes the text uh, of the title and that will be coming from the label variable in Drupal. And the URL will be coming from the URL variable in Drupal. Then I am including the card component that we just saw using a twig include statement. And this here is the name of my theme. And that is a namespace that I'm using to be able to integrate or nest templates or components into other components. 
And then I'm just mapping my image, title, and body variables from the component, from the card component, with Drupal data, right? These are Drupal fields. And so, and then here, if you're wondering what this is, I'm just checking whether to make sure that the fields are completely, uh, they're not really empty. Um, now that this is done, uh, let's take a look and see how this looks on Drupal's. Uh, and here it is. So we probably don't notice much changes. The only change I notice is that the title now is after the image. Uh, but as far as the content itself is all the same. Um, and the reason the title is after the image is because in our component, we put the title after the image. Uh, so let's inspect and see how this looks now that we've integrated the card. You can probably still see a lot of things here, right? Um, all of this looks good. But notice the part where we have the card HTML. This is the HTML that we wrote in the card component. Notice how it's nicely clean, right? Nice card, card image, card content. And this is where you will find the content, right? This is all coming from the card component. The only thing coming from Drupal here is the data itself. Now, um, the other thing to note here is that uh, this is a view, right? Uh, by default, Drupal will create a view for your teaser content. And I can edit the view, but I'm not able to edit the page, the node itself. Like if I want to edit this article, I am not able to using the contextual links or the quick edit, right? And so we have two issues here. One is that we lost all of our attributes. There should be a lot more attributes added here in our card component and they're all gone. The other thing is I lost my, my contextual links, right? I'm not able to edit this particular node, this particular article. Let's see why that is and how we can fix that. If we look at our component here, we notice that obviously we have nice clean markup. And, um, but the problem is since Drupal is now using this markup to render the article, then it's not finding any place where it can put its attributes, right? So that's why those attributes are missing from Drupal. One quick way to fix that is we can add an attribute uh, variable placeholder here like that. Once I add these attributes, uh, I will probably need to recompile my component just to make sure that those changes are reflected. In addition to that, I need to go back to my uh, tweet template, right? This is the node teaser template. And if we scroll up, it's always a good idea, even if you clean the entire template with, with your markup, it's always a good idea to keep these comments handy because you can reference them uh, just to be sure that you have what you need. So if you notice, there is a, a variable for attributes here. And it, it says here that is HTML attributes for the containing element and this card, our card, right? So since we added a placeholder for attributes on our component, we can add this to our list of um, fields or variables to map. So attributes, this is the attribute placeholder that we just added in, in the component. And now we can say that this maps to Drupal's attributes that we just saw up there, up in the template, right? I'm going to save these changes. I'm going to clear my cache. Now that Drupal cache has been cleared, I'm going to inspect this again. And I'm going to go up to the card. This is the article for the card. Notice that's the card component. But now look at all these attributes that now are available to us, right? So again, it's very simple to be able to make sure that those attributes are available. Now, I'm still not able to edit this node, right? This is where the next piece comes in. Drupal uses uh, title prefix and title suffix, um, which are two different variables that sit before and after a title field on, on pretty much any node template or any entity template in Drupal, blogs, node templates, views templates, right? And so the idea for those variables, title prefix and title suffix is that um, modules like on tree modules or custom modules can add to it. You know, I've seen um, developers who add, you know, special functionality to that edit link on a node, right? 
Uh, but one very common use for the title prefix and title suffix is uh, the contextual links, the links that allow you to edit the content in line in your page. So let's add those two variables to our component. So here they are. We added title prefix and title suffix. And the next thing I need to do now, we need to go back to our node teaser template. And now that we have placeholders for title prefix and title suffix, we can now uh, add them here to our uh, integration process here. And before we do that, let's take a look here to see, notice how we have title prefix and title suffix, right? These are again um, available in this template. And so what we need to do now is map those two variables with, uh, from our component to Drupal's template here. So we've mapped title prefix from our component to title prefix that is coming here in this from this template and the same for suffix, right? Let's save this and let's clear Drupal cache one more time. And now Drupal cache is clear and the page is reloaded. And now notice how we can edit the view. But in addition to that, we have this other link there that says edit. If we click that. You can see that now we can edit our node directly from the page. We don't have to go to the content section to edit that node. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.